Hello, welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10Ps we're hunting through, looking for those alphabet 10Ps. Ideally some 2019 dated ones, because we've never completed a 2019 book. We have though got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L and M, N, O, P, R, T, U, V and X. So, six to go, but the 2019s are so low minted, so hard to get your hands on. We started another 2018 book. This is in fact our third book, having completed it twice already. We've got A, we've got E, we've got I, we've got M, we've got V, X and Y. So one from this panel would be nice to have at least one coin on each panel. If we get two on that panel, my goodness, that'd be good. But we won't know if we get, don't get the bag, so let's get into them and see what we find today. Okay then, whilst the hunt is ongoing, I'm going to be going through some comments recently left on my videos. Also, point of uh, uh, interest, I am going, I'm bringing up my calendar and I'm looking at something here. Um, I am going to the Royal Mint Experience to get the latest strike you're in, the T-Rex 50p, on the 25th of February, the last Sunday of the month. Um, I think I'm booked in for one o'clock, but I should be there probably around an hour or half an hour beforehand, and I'll spend plenty of time after there, uh, after that there as well. So if you want to come along and say hi, feel free to. It'd be great to meet some subscribers or other people make videos, whatnot. Oh, there we go. K for King Arthur, 2018. Very, very cool. Um, we're going to go through some comments recently left on my videos now So we start with Maverick who says the idiots are all out on eBay with salmon 50ps already and The other idiots are all buying them Okay, so the Atlantic salmon to bring anyone up to speed that's not aware is the new definitive 50p uh, They minted them in 2023. They seem to be the first of the new definitives uh, to get into circulation uh, We make we should see many more of them going to circulation over time um, the <sighs> The mintage figure was a little bit of a grey area um, and there, it seemed to be going around there's only going to be half a million of them. Now I was told by someone in the know that uh, they will be minting as many of the denominations as was possible but some of them were going to be really low minted and definitely worth keeping. I thought oh okay I'll think about that, I saw that in my head and carry on. I think I even mentioned it in some videos. Um, so when the news was getting around that it was only half a million of the Atlantic Salmons, I thought, oh, okay, maybe that is, maybe maybe that's the one that will be low minted. But I thought well, the 50p will tend to have quite high mintages. So I, my my opinion was more, okay then, um, well I'll wait to hear for something else from the Royal Mint. Uh, if I get any, obviously I'll keep them. But uh, if until the Royal Mint confirms or implies what the mintage figure is going to be. Um, I, I, I'm not going to spend stupid money on them uh, and then it sort of all came out came out and about that uh, there's not gonna be half a million of them there's going to be five million of them which puts it into a rather high mintage uh, they'll become fairly common coins um, the other problem the, that I had with the crazy prices were if you I know half a million is a very low mintage but this is a definitive coin this is something that's going to be minted for year upon year upon year um, as the other definitives were. So if you look at the rarest Shield 50p or the rarest Britannia 50p, the ones that did go into circulation, so the 2017 Shield 2008 Britannia, um, especially the 2017 Shield, it's rarer than a lot of coins but doesn't hold an awful lot of value. You're talking a couple of pounds at most um, and I think it's more because people aren't as interested in the definitives which get minted year after year after year so we do see lots of them whereas the commemoratives are just a one-off release so uh, I guess the the moral of the story is uh, look at who's putting out the news and could they have ulterior motives are they resellers trying to lead people to spend part with big cash to um buy these coins off of them? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, just, I'm always sceptical. I'm always thinking, mm, I, I, I can hear what you're saying, but I want to see the proof. I want to see the proof. I want to see the proof. Uh, and on this one, um, I think that sort of scepticism was vindicated. Of course, if they ended up being really, really rare, um, then, then yeah, I would be the fool for not cashing in on it. But uh, coin collecting isn't about making money for me. It's about collecting coins. So yes, um, there we go. Right, next question comes from Riot who says, Thank you for getting me into 50p collecting. I randomly got recommended your videos about a week back without ever searching anything coin related. Your videos are so fun and cosy. So I bought a book using your link, thank you very much. Um, 
now every time somebody I know gets changed, I ask to check it. I see it's it's comments like that that I think are amazing because the idea that someone could land on one of my videos uh, w without any prior interest in coin collecting um, and not only watch the video, engage with the video, but potentially start a brand new hobby, I think is pretty awesome. Um, I think as, I think it's also important that uh, we continue to keep trying to grow coin collecting. Uh, not just those of us who make videos, those of us who collect coins can, can suggest to friends and family that this is my hobby. Um, it's quite fun to find treasure in your change. Uh, why don't you give it a go? Um, because we want more people to collect coins. The more people collecting coins, the better. Uh, if you look at some hobbies like stamp collecting, where the, the number of stamp collectors is, <laughs> from an outsider's perspective, seems to be dropping and dwindling. We want to keep coin collecting exciting and uh, and fun and I think the Royal Mint could play a better role in encouraging new people to collect coins uh, but uh, that's my opinion right grave mind says I found a salmon 50p if the rumors are true on mintages then it will be rare too so yes uh, I think we have covered that <laughs> in my first rambly answer um, I think they're going to be very very common and if they end up being low minted I don't think they're gonna have the huge value that uh, other rare individual coins have Grim Sweeper says, any chance we could see you putting new coins into the book, Christopher? Anticlimactic when you show them already in there. So yeah, when I find a new coin for the book, I just put it in and just show you the book at the end of it. Um, I don't with the 10 P's because it's just plop, plop, and they're in. The, the, the 50 P's in the two pound book, it's, it's, a, it's a faft. It's pulling out the insert, putting the coin in, flapping the, the flap around. Um, I, so I, I, I just, that's just the way I do it, I'm afraid. Um, I, I, I don't see, is, is, if you if you're if you're there in the comments that would find seeing the coin go into the little pocket, um, if that would encourage you to watch more, encourage you to subscribe, encourage you to um, engage with the video, you would if it is uh, massively game changing in terms of the 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 videos, then uh, let me know. But uh, I, I don't think that's a it's a it's a big a big issue. I think seeing the book empty, seeing the book full, um, I think there isn't much uh, requirement to do it right scouse time says why you never age are you an ai bot um i am not an ai bot i have uh, met a whole bunch of subscribers um in the flesh in the person and i don't think ai technology is quite there to replicate um an ai creature person figure whatever um in the flesh yet is there i don't i don't think so um but uh, I, I, I'm very, very grateful that you don't think that I have aged over the... Is it going to be five, five, six years I've been doing this in February? It's February now, oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to think about that, carry on. Right, Howard Markert, Markert, yeah, says, Just an idea for the next 50p book, and piggybacking on a comment you made in yesterday's hunt, uh, for your next book, Multi Coin Counter, do one uh, of the 2019 restrike cards and how and count how many you get, how many of each coin you get. Sorry, uh, you get to pick which card you you to use, or you could use a survey of your viewers' choice. As the cards have several more common coins on it, you could skip singular common coins and just do one or two more rare coins maybe some of the middle olympic coins like kayaking basketball or aquatics um so hmm. um so i do put the counters on the videos tracking certain coins some i always pick some common coins some uncommon coins because it's nice to see at the end of the book how many of a specific coin we found uh, throughout the course of filling that book and i don't have the time to do every single coin but i take a little handful of coins i like the idea of the 2019 restrike counter it's something i had been thinking about but uh, in my mind i was thinking how can i make a counter that represents that but what can i put on that counter to represent it because there's 10 different designs i can't just do 10 slices of coin i know with the shakespeare i had the three slices or brunel and the um london underground i had half and half of the two different designs um I quite like the idea of the twin set because I'd like to see at the end of a book I have found 300 of these coins which could have been restrikes and none were restrikes or I found 500 of these restrikes and one was a restrike. <laughs> I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I was always interested to see what people like or what people like to suggest for the counters. I tend to leave it a little bit too late because all of a sudden the book is complete after week upon week upon week of, of looking for one or two coins all of a sudden it's done. Um, 
so yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure what counts I'll use next time. Uh, the one that, the suggestion that gets uh, brought up time and time again is a territory counter, which I really don't like the idea of because territory, it's it's it, it's only going to cause disputes in the comments. Um, if I so if you put Jersey, Guernsey, uh, Isle of Man, um, I don't know, uh, Gibraltar, the Falkland Islands, I just have a counter for these territories and crown dependencies. Uh, something will turn up like St Helena and Ascension. It's like, oh, well, did, did, do I put that on as well, or is that a little bit too far removed? And it's just where you draw those lines, and it's just too grey of an area. Um, the one well, actually, people in the comments would uh, lose their mind over it. Um, but no, uh, if you've got any ideas of, of counters you want to see on the different uh, videos, then let me know in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions. Oh, whoa, two in one hunt. Keep for queuing. Very, very nice. That's outrageous. We'll round off with one more comment from Stephen Wilson. It says, Royal Mint states coins and notes worth nothing but face value while in circulation. Yes, true. Um, a 10p is worth 10p, a 50p is worth 50p, but we're not looking at the face value with these rarer coins. Say, for instance, the Kew Gardens 50p. Um, that, that has a numismatic value, a value to a collector. Uh, that, 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 that It's always going to be worth their face value, I totally agree with you with that, but uh, there are things that are worth more than what's, more than um, the issue price, more than the circulation price. Um, that you could look at anything, uh, you took look, if you buy a packet of Pokemon cards for, an how much Pokemon cards cost now, probably like five pounds a packet, aren't they? You can spend five pounds on that packet of Pokemon cards, it doesn't mean that each card is individually worth whatever, this, there's ten cards in a pack, it probably isn't even ten, it's probably like three cards in a pack nowadays. A tenth or however many cards in a pack is not worth a, a fra that fraction of the cost. There might be something that's really rare in it that's worth an awful lot, there might be something that's very, very common that's only worth, that's only worth fractions of a penny but uh, with collecting coins there's always that minimum face value but uh, um, I think that even the Royal Mint will accept that uh, some of the rarer coins are worth way more than their face value if you look at as well all you've got to do is look at some of their higher end coins so they're five kilogram uh, gold coins uh, that have a face value of I think five thousand pounds or is it two and a half thousand pounds I can't remember uh, they are selling those for way more than that if you look at the silver proof 50 P's a silver proof 50 P they're getting more and more expensive. So 71 pounds or something like that it's got a it's still a face value of 50 P but they're selling it for 71 pounds so I think um, uh, the coins in circulation yes are worth at minimum their face value but there are definitely coins worth more than that and if you disagree with that if you find a Kew Gardens I will buy it off you for a pound and double what you think it's actually worth sounds fair right anyway let's go back to the coins well there we go our finds for today a very good success with two alphabet 10 both from 2018 both new ones for the book K for King Arthur Q for queuing one from Jersey 1992 and then this one I don't know if I'm seeing things, but it looks like there's a little bit of extra metal in the Queen's head. You can see there. How close can we get and still focus? It just looks a bit blobby. Like an extra big lump of metal, maybe damage to the die that has caused that. But uh, I think I'll definitely be putting that into my oddity box. It's nothing that's going to add a huge amount of value. It's just a kind of interesting thing that jumped out of me that I don't think I've seen before like that so kind of cool but of course the exciting thing two for the book I did say it'd be nice to get two from one page and we've got uh, two very close to that one page obviously K is on page number two and Q is on page number three so now we do have a coin on each page which is kind of cool so there we go K and Q are star finds if, uh, if I had to pick, but uh, let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video is. Also let me know what you think of the uh, the uh, queen with a strand of hair that's got a little bit awry. be interested to see what you guys think about that. As ever, links are in the description to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join that. There's also links to my other social media channels and the PO box address you can write into me with. Um, as well as a link to the Britannia Coin Company YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please do go and check their YouTube channel out as well. All it leaves me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.